Hi folks, Vitaly here from HelpingHandAffiliate.com. In this video, what I want to talk about is Google Discover, which is a new feature of the Google search engine that can bring more traffic to your website, what it is, how it works, and how to actually utilize it. In my particular case, I run a website that's a nature blog, and I recently popped out on the Google Discover option, which you can see over here. And as you can see, it's not too much traffic, but there was a huge spike in it uh, around uh, the June time. And let me just explain to you what the Google Discover option is. So basically, it works like this. On your phone, uh, if you have the Google search engine, you can uh, basically open up the feature, uh, a feature where it tracks your searches and uh, records them. And what ends up happening is that when you go to the Google search engine to you know do some browsing and stuff like that on your phone based on your previous searches that you've done Google's just gonna give you related searches of stuff so let's say for example with the nature blog let's say that somebody's on their phone and they're looking up like different nature spots and stuff like that the next time they go on the Google search engine underneath the uh, the bar where they search their term in Google there's gonna be images of similar nature spots you know stuff like r related to what you were searching for before and the way to pop out on the Google Discover uh, feature is to basically create good imagery. That's really the, the, the gist of it. Uh, in my personal case, I run a nature blog and uh, I you know cover different hikes, waterfalls, those sorts of things. And that's the kind of stuff that has a lot of imagery involved with it. And the better looking my imagery is uh, and the better keyword targeted it is, the more likely it is that I will appear on Google Discover. Now, this is not something that every website is going to have. In my case, you, if you go in the search console, which is a free tool by Google, Google, um, if you pop up on Discover, it's going to show up over here for you on the Google Search Console. And that's going to say that it's just going to basically say that your website is eligible to appear on Google Discover. Now, it, it's also a bit of an overrated kind of thing because in spite of the fact that I did get a lot of traffic over here and it's, it's, you know over a thousand clicks from Google Discover, it's uh, not something I would take too seriously because it's a great way to get extra traffic but not necessarily sales. I doubt that most of the people that came to my website from Google Discover actually bought something that was on it. It's more of just like an imagery type site, a way to get extra traffic and what I would focus on is that if you do get on Google Discover to try to keep people on your website to show Google that you have a good high quality website so you can kind of piggyback off that and get better SEO results for what you're targeting directly to appear on the Google search engine. That's really the way to use the Google Discover option. So try to make beautiful images, you know, take them with your phone. If you're not already doing that, use the Canva tool. That's a great place to create awesome images, keyword target them. And then it's one of those things that's up in the air. So if you're in a niche that's involved with something like nature or uh, bird watching or uh, mountain bike riding or uh, taking beautiful pictures with drones, those kinds of things that I just listed are more image heavy type niches. And so with those types of things, if let's say you have a drone website and you take beautiful pictures with drones and there's some on their phone looking up drone websites or drone images your website has a better chance of popping up for something like that because it's in a related type of thing um, and so that's really the most important thing that I wanted to cover in this not popping up on Google discover is not by any means some kind of crazy loss or something like that so if you don't have your website showing up that that's okay it's not it's not really a big deal but if it does the best way to leverage it is to try to keep people on your page so that can be recorded by Google so they can see that you have a good website and then they can make you show up on their regular search engine higher up for whatever keywords you're trying to rank for that's really the way that I would look at it so with that said thanks so much for watching this video I hope I helped explain what Google Discover is and how to leverage it for better SEO results in general uh, and if you have any questions you're more than welcome to leave it underneath this video but thanks a lot for watching I hope you have a great day